Hello everyone, my name is Captain. Welcome back to the channel. Another seven days to die video. We're on Alpha 19.1. It just went into experimental build this previous weekend, so if something changes later on down the road, do keep that in mind. Alright, recently we did a video. We were testing out what was the most fuel efficient vehicle, and we determined the mini bike got the best miles per gallon or whatever units of measurements you want to go with. It got the furthest with the same amount of fuel as the rest of them. But I had a lot of people asking me, hey Cap, which vehicle is the fastest? You can anecdotally say, oh, well, the motorcycle is definitely fastest to me, or the mini bike is, or etc. And there's not really a good way to compare anecdotes. And I thought about having just a genuine race, get another friend in here with me, we can just go head to head. But that leaves too many variables. So I decided to do just this scientific approach here. So as you can see, I have a nice little painted red starting line here. We are right over next to Dyersville. Got the bicycle set up. At the end of the road here, at the finish line, we have the checkered flag. And from here to where we're actually going to be starting is exactly 325 meters. Now it shows 0.8 right here just because I'm a little bit off. I spent a lot of time getting the markers exactly right between the front of the red line and the start of the checkered line. So it's exactly 325 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to employ some scientific processes here. I'm going to get on the bike and I'm going to ride at full speed, holding down shift the entire way from the start. And I'm going to use a stopwatch here on my phone to measure the moment I take off to the moment I cross the finish line. I'm going to do it three times take the average of the three times or whatever and then you employ the distance over rate times times formula and that's how you're able to find out how fast you're going so i know how far i'm going to go and i know how long it's going to take me to get there via my stopwatch so distance divided by time equals rate we'll do all the math and figure out which vehicle is actually the fastest now, of course, with the bicycle, you're relying just on human power here, and you run out of stamina pretty quick. So I have some black strap coffee, gives stamina regen plus 25%, and this will help me to be able to keep pedaling at full velocity the entire duration of the test here. That way, I don't end up messing it up and start gasping for air 100 yards down the road. So I'm going to drink our coffee real quick. All right, we're getting on our bicycle. We have the tire lined up right in front of the red line here, which is where we'll line up all the vehicles. And we're just going to go on a B line straight for the finish line, and we'll do it three times and get the average of them. So on your mark, get set, go. The bicycle averaged out at 33.3 seconds for all three runs, which if you take the distance divided by the time, that averages out to 9.76 meters per second. Convert it, it's 21.83 miles per hour for my fellow American friends. So, not too terribly fast. So next up we're going to use is the mini bike. Get it lined up right in the same spot here. Got my stopwatch ready to go, and we're going to head off and get our three averages on this one. So ready, set, go. This one was rather shocking. The mini bike only averaged 33.1 seconds, literally 0.2 seconds faster than the bicycle. So the powered mini bike is barely faster than a pedaled bicycle. But that averaged out to 9.82 meters per second, which equates to 21.97 miles per hour. So I'm honestly shocked that the mini bike isn't at least a little bit faster than the bicycle. But other than the fact that you don't have to do the pedaling, it's uh, pretty much almost exactly the same. I mean, it is a tenth of a mile per hour difference in the speed of these two. But let's continue the testing. And next up, we have the motorcycle, which at least my personal experience feels like the fastest bike. But we'll do the math and see if it checks out. So ready, set, go. Now the motorcycle was a bit interesting and the main reason why is because and maybe it's due to how fast it actually goes but as I was driving along I noticed I was getting an occasional little dip in frame rate here and I didn't want that to affect the results so I tested the motorcycle six times instead of three like the other vehicles just to make sure I got the best possible results and with the motorcycle it averages at 13.18 meters per second or 29.48 miles per hour. So, so far, it is by far the fastest vehicle. But of course, we still have some more testing to do. And next up, we're going to test the 4x4, the truck here, and see how well this works out. Truck, Jeep, I don't know. People keep telling me it's different things. It's called a 4x4, or we're going to call it a 4x4. But lined up and ready to go. So let's see what the time is for this one. Ready, set, go. Go. 
okay guys, y'all are not actually going to believe this. I did six runs with a 4x4 just because I wanted to make sure it was even with the motorcycle and because I was getting the same thing, the occasional frame drop. The 4x4 averaged 24.28 seconds. That's faster than the motorcycle did with the same number of runs. That means it travels at 13.38 meters per second, which is 29.93 miles per hour. I know. I, I honestly thought the motorcycle was faster than the truck, but the truck is actually faster. I did the math. I, <laughs> I did multiple runs here to get the best possible average. And even the worst run with the truck was better than the best run with the motorcycle. So the 4x4 is officially faster than the motorcycle. And you want to hear something that's even more interesting? I ran it backwards. I put, started down there, threw it in reverse. It's the exact same speed forwards and backwards once it gets up to full running here. It's crazy. It, I, I did like three runs with the truck going in reverse. It's the exact same speed forwards and backwards when it gets going full speed. So the truck is the fastest. The 4x4 truck is the fastest. I, I honestly, I thought it was the motorcycle. I'm shocked by the results here, but it is clearly 4x4 motorcycle, mini bike, and bicycle. I am not going to test the gyrocopter because that's not even something that would help out with it here. If I started off, because I honestly thought about it. I'm just going to tell you guys honestly. I thought about it. if I start the gyrocopter off, take off here, I'll have to drive for a little ways and then to be able to get it airborne. Nobody drives it on the ground, so I'm not going to try to figure out what its ground speed is. It wouldn't do any good anyway. This is the ground speed of all the vehicles measured, not the gyrocopter, because once you get far enough in there and you're airborne, you're going to be jutting out over things anyway, and there's no way I could possibly get the exact speed of the gyrocopter mixed in. So you'll just have to forgive me. I'm not going to test it, but that is absolutely not the results I thought I was going to get from this test. There you have it. 4x4 is the fastest. So hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And of course, other tests you'd like for me to try out, leave those in the comments down below. And if you're new here, well, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.